I'm especially pleased to see so many of you interested in exploring tech sector opportunities and looking forward to hearing uplifting success stories and experiences of working across borders. I'm convinced that it will encourage even more companies to find ways of expanding their international presence and increasing the scope of their operations. A stable and growing economy is the foundation on which tech companies in Poland thrive. The tech industry contributes to around 8% of the Polish GDP. I am proud to say that Polish software developers are among the best in the world. Over the past few years, the world has gone through a major economic shock caused first by the COVID-19 pandemic, which created many challenges, particularly around public health and global supply chains. And most recently, the conflict in Ukraine, which has really exposed fundamental weaknesses upon which many frameworks of our energy supplies are constructed, leading in some cases to energy crisis. So at today's event, we are going to take these challenges head on, knowing that in the midst of every crisis is an opportunity. And we see that opportunity in technology. Technology which will help us to overcome challenges imposed on public health, on the way we structure our international trade, and on the way we communicate and work together through the use of technology. The main aim is to bring uh, startups and scale-ups to work together between Poland and the UK. We are very glad that around 200 participants are taking part in our conference. What we're seeing is more and more of this international collaboration where we may have investors coming from locations such as Poland who are interested in being limited partners in a UK fund. And so it's that networking, it's that dialogue. The Polish sector is relatively big as we have more than 300 uh, companies. We have great talents. I'm here today to talk about tech and to talk about the journey that we've had over 15 years building a tech centre in primarily Poznan, but we also have um, uh, staff in Warsaw. Poland as a country is very important to GSK. and We've got many functions cited there across regulatory, supply chain, clinical trials. Poland is a very strong um, natural development centre for, uh, for IT professionals. There's something like 300,000 IT professionals in the country at this point in time and the university system is creating about 15,000 IT professionals every single year. We offer bank securities on two levels. The first one is hardware. So the bank data must be secured. On the other side we have also software security. British market remains for us very attractive from two perspectives basically. On the one hand, this is huge market that awaits services like ours, but on the other hand, British people, they still remember that from Poland they gained lots of people that are innovative. This market is important for us uh, because there's a lot of uh, the, the startups which are here, also a lot of corporate customers which we are also serving. For us, British market has been pivotal. We actually domiciled a company here. We have a technology office in Poland and now the group is headquartered in, uh, in Madrid, in Spain. But actually Britain was a place where we've tested a lot of our hypothesis because it's a big enough market and also it's a market which is very mature. And now the question is how can technology help to overcome all of these challenges? The real key is to, to get this triangle going between science, entrepreneurship and the capital markets. Financial innovations can address uh, various challenges that we face today. Uh, let's look at the war uh, in Ukraine where uh, cloud technology helped uh, Ukraine financial infrastructure to survive. We are really aware that the access to, cap to ideas is probably the same everywhere, but the access and opportunities for capital isn't quite the same uh, in different places. It's a sector with huge potential. It's a crucial sector. In terms of challenges, I'd say in two areas. We need the finance coming into the ecosystem. We need early stage startups to be able to raise. And the second, looking between, say, for example, Britain and Poland, Britain and the rest of 
Europe is a supportive regulatory environment. I hope that the fourth edition of Polish-British Tech Forum will be the seat for long-term cooperation and prospective partnerships between Polish and British companies. Thank you.